ಅಸ್ತಿತ್ರಸ್ಯಾಂ ದಿಶಿ ದೇವತಾತ್ಮ ಹಿಮಾಲಯೋ ನಾಮ ನಗಾಧಿರಾಜ ಪೂರ್ವಾಪರೌ ತ್ವಯನಿಧಿ ಬಗಾಹ್ಯ ಸ್ಥಿತ ಪ್ರಕೃತ್ಯಾ ಇವ ಮಾನದಂಡ ಸ್ಪ್ರಿಂಗ್ ಸೀಸನ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಎಂಟರ್ಡ್ ದ ವನಂ ವೇರ್ ಶಿವ ಇಸ್ ಡೂಯಿಂಗ್ ಹಿಸ್ ತಪಸ್ ಅತ್ರ ಬಾಲೇಂದು ವಕ್ರಾಣಿ ಅವಿಕಾಸ ಭಾವಾತ್ ಬಭು ಫಲಾಶಾನ್ಯತ್ ಫಲಾಶಾನಿ ಅತಿಲೋಹಿತಾನಿ ಹಾ ಫಲಾಶಾನಿ ಅತಿಲೋಹಿತಾನಿ ಸದ್ಯೋ ವಸಂತೇನ ಸಮಾಗತಾನ ನಖಕ್ಷತಾನಿ ವನಸ್ಥಲೀ ಸೊ ದ ಗ್ರೌಂಡ್ಸ್ ದ ಫಾರೆಸ್ಟ್ ಗ್ರೌಂಡ್ಸ್ ವರ್ ಲುಕಿಂಗ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಆಸ್ ಇಫ್ ದೇ ಬೋರ್ ದ ನೇಲ್ ಮಾರ್ಕ್ಸ್ ವೆನ್ ದೇ ಹ್ಯಾಡ್ ಅ ಯೂನಿಯನ್ ವಿತ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸ್ಪ್ರಿಂಗ್ ಸೀಸನ್ ಸೊ ದ ಫಲಾಶ ಬರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಲುಕ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದ ಕರ್ವ್ಡ್ ಯಂಗ್ ಮೂನ್ ಸೊ ಬಾಲೇಂದು ವಕ್ರಾಣಿ ಇವ ಕಿಂತು ಅವಿಕಾಸ ಭಾವಾತ್ ವಿಕಾಸ ನ ಆಸೀತ್ ತಾಮ ಕಾರಣಾತ್ ತ್ರ ಪೂರ್ಣಚಂದ್ರ ನ ಅದನ್ನ ಲೈಕ್ ಚಂದ್ರಕಲಾ ಇವ ಕ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ಮೂನ್ ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ದೇ ವರ್ ಲುಕಿಂಗ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಕ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ಮೂನ್ ಸೊ ಬಾಲೇಂದು ವಕ್ರಾಣಿ ಅತಿಲೋಹಿತೋಹಿತೋಹಿತೋಹಿತೋಹಿತೋಹಿತೋಹಿತೋಹಿತೋಹಿತೋಹಿತೋಹಿತೋಹಿತೋಹಿತ
uh, if you look at uh, uh, many uh, uh, people even nowadays irka na nikre inge vanda and kaaka padam madri la potupa they they have some designs for the kajal that they wear nowadays it's with the eyeliner but i'm sure they had other methods to do it with kajal uh, in those days so bhakti here means wearing a design which is very beautiful chitram or different types of designs on their face uh on her face so madhushrihi mukhe swa mukhe tilakam prakashya now she wears a tilakam on her face which is also with uh, uh so it's better if this is chitram and it is an adjective to tilakam it's an easier method or uh, you'll have to say that that durepam itself is a tilakam here because the tilakam is also done in with a black uh, paint it's made with anjanam and so she has she displays a tilakam on her head because there are a lot of bees there in the forest so lagna dvirepa anjana bhakti chitre mukhe madushrihi tilakam prakashya after displaying a tilakam ragena now she has to beautify her lips right so oshtam alanchakara she decorates she has to wear lipstick now so what is that ragena with a ragam with a, a color that is bala aruna komalam which is very soft like the bala aruna like the dawn uh, or the bala surya right Where, uh, just like how the beginning of dawn has a very soft reddish color so she doesn't uh, she has a more aesthetic way of painting her lips and she doesn't paint it bright red but she has that very soft color of the dawn right so bala uh, aruna komalena ragena what is the color that you see in the spring season which is that is the chuta pravala oshta her lips are actually chuta pravalam the leaves of uh, uh, mango mango leaf the young mango leaf chuta pravalam looks like the morning light the light of the morning sun so it seems as if she paints her lips which are the young mango leaf with uh, a red tint that is as soft as the morning light and then the the leaves have come out and the as the leaves come out and the mandalir ngro mandalir color vandu it's got a, the young leaf of a mango tree has a mixture of a little bit of red and uh, green in it in its beginning stage so that is the pravala so chuta pravala oshtam that is compared to her lips and uh, the color the morning light is the uh, color that she uses to uh, um, decorate her lips okay so like she is getting ready which is it's like she is getting ready for uh, to meet her lover uh, which is smara which is manmatha here so madhushrihi uh, she she displays uh, she makes a tilakam and then she wears anjanam and she also paints her lips here so tilaka kusuma udgamam chuta pallava udbhavam cha yugapat varnayati all of these things come out at the same time that's the main point for us because the vasanta ritu has come at a time and it comes in suddenly to that forest all of these uh, uh, tilaka pushpa tilaka is a type of flower ah tilaka is also like palasha pushpam atrapi tilaka pushpam iti asti so tilaka pushpam api prakashayati sa uh, madhushrihi so the spring season shows a tilaka flower i don't know what flower again uh, i gave you the website last time so you can check that website out uh, for what flower this is tilaka flower so madhushrihi mukhe tilakam prakashya balaruna komalena ragena chuta pravala oshtham alanchakara madhushrihi vasanta lakshmi the beauty of spring mukhe eva mukhe atra you can take it as two meanings one is on her face the other is prarambhe eva when you take it to mean the spring season you take it as in the beginning itself she shows both the flower and the leaves there is a kramam to it the it, both of them cannot come out at the same time it is usually the flowers that come out first and then you have pravala slowly the flower, leaves start coming out in the corner and then it starts filling up the entire tree so tadrsha kramah atra na vidyate iti karanatu yugapadeva mukhe eva arambhe eva 
ಸೊ ಮುಖೆ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಬೋತ್ ಪ್ರಾರಂಭೆ ವದನೆ ನಾಯಿಕಾ ಪಕ್ಷೇ ತು ಯು ಟೇಕ್ ಇಟ್ ಆಸ್ ವದನ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಸಮಾಸೋಕ್ತಿ ಬೈ ದ ವೇ ಐ ನೋ ಎವ್ರಿಬಡಿ ವಿಲ್ ಕೀಪ್ ಥಿಂಕಿಂಗ್ ದಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಸಮಾಸೋಕ್ತಿ ಬಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಈವನ್ ದೋ ಅರುಣಾಚಲನಾಥ ಗಿವ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಎಸ್ ಸಮಾಸೋಕ್ತಿ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಪಂಡಿತ ಆರ್ಗ್ಯೂಸ್ ದಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ರೂಪಕಂ ಮಲಿನಾಥ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಸರ್ಪ್ರೈಸಿಂಗ್ಲಿ ಸೇಸ್ ದಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ರೂಪಕಂ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಗೋ ಟು ದಟ್ ಡಿಸ್ಕಷನ್ ಎಟ್ ದಿ ಎಂಡ್ ಸೊ ತಿಲಕಮೇವ ತಿಲಕಂ ತಿಲಕ ಕುಸುಮಂ ವಿಶೇಷಕ ವಿಶೇಷಕಂ ದ ಮೀನಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ವಿಶೇಷಕ ಸೊ ತಿಲಕ ಇಸ್ ಕ್ಷುರಕ ಶ್ರೀಮಾನ್ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ದ ಮೀನಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಪುಷ್ಪಂ ತಮಾಲ ಪತ್ರ ತಿಲಕ ಚಿತ್ರಕಾಣಿ ವಿಶೇಷಕಂ ಇತಿ ಅಮರ ಸೊ ದ ಮೀನಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ವಿಶೇಷಕ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಡಿಸೈನ್ ದಟ್ ಯು ವೇರ್ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ದಟ್ ತಿಲಕಂ ಬಿಂದಿ ಪ್ರಕಾಶ್ಯ ಅತಿಶಯೇನ ಸಂಪಾದ್ಯ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ಡಿಸ್ಪ್ಲೇಯಿಂಗ್ ದಟ್ ಬಾಲ ಅಭಿನವ ಉದಿತ ಅರುಣ ಸೂರ್ಯ ಓ ಅದೇ ನಕ್ತ್ರಿ ಅದೇ ಐ ಥಾಟ್ ಇಟ್ ವಾಸ್ ಅರುಣೋದಯ ಅರುಣ ಭಾಸ್ಕರೇ ಅಪಿ ಸ್ಯಾತ್ ಇತಿ ಅಮರ ಓಕೆ ಇನ್ ಸೂರ್ಯ ಶತಕಂ ಫುಲ್ಲಿ ಅರುಣ ಇಸ್ ಟೇಕನ್ ಆಸ್ ದ ಡಾನ್ ಸೊ ಅರುಣ ಆಸ್ ಇನ್ ಸೂರ್ಯ ಸಾರಥಿ ರಸ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಹಿ ಸೇಸ್ ಅರುಣ ಭಾಸ್ಕರೇ ಅಪಿ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಬಾಲ ಸೂರ್ಯವತ್ ಇತಿ ಸೊ ಬಾಲಶ್ಚ ಅಸೌ ಅರುಣಶ್ಚ ಇತಿ ಬಾಲಾರುಣ ತದ್ವತ್ ಕೋಮಲೇನ ಮನೋಹರೇಣ ರಾಗೇಣ ಎವ ರಾಗೇಣ ರಕ್ತವರ್ಣೇನ ಲಾಕ್ಷಾರಸೇನ ಸೊ ಲಾಕ್ಷಾರಸಂ ಇಸ್ ಯುವರ್ ಲಿಪ್ಸ್ಟಿಕ್ ಕೈಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ದ ಪೇಂಟ್ ದಟ್ ಯು ಯೂಸ್ ಕ್ಷುರಕ ನಾಮ ಕಿಂ ಕ್ಷುರಕ ಅಂದ ಒಂದು ಟೈಪ್ ಆಫ್ ಫ್ಲವರ್ ಅದು ಆರ್ ಟ್ರೀ ಕ್ಷುರಕ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಹಾ ಹಾ ದ ರಬ್ಬರ್ ಮಾದ್ರಿ ಅದ್ಲೇ ಇರಂದ ಒಂದು ಇದು ವರುಣ್ ನಾನು ಹೇಳ್ತೇನೆ ಸಮಥಿಂಗ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಗಾಟ್ ರೆಸಿನ್ ಗೋಕ್ಷುರಹ ಕ್ಷುರಕಹ ಅನ್ನ ಮಾದ್ರಿ ಸೋ ತಿ ಸೋ ತಿಲಕಹ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಬಿ ಕ್ಷುರಕ ಅಂಡ್ ಶ್ರೀಮಾನ್ ಡಸಂಟ್ ಫಿಟ್ ಸೀಮ್ ಟು ಫಿಟ್ ಇನ್ ಶ್ರೀಮಾನ್ ಮೈಟ್ ಬಿ ಅನದರ್ ನೇಮ್ ಫಾರ್ ಇಟ್ ನೋ ಹೂ ನೋ ಐ ಡೋ ನೋ ಮೇಬಿ ಐ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಚೆಕ್ ದ ಕೋಶ ಶ್ರೀಮಾನ್ಕ to mean both the tilakam bindi and uh, the flower which comes out earlier in the spring here so the the fact that the words have two meanings like the aruna and uh, the tilaka and yes. even the kupa the, the is building upon the shlesha right no, no there is shlesha yes definitely there is shlesha there is also rupakam here because tilaka here he uses uh, we'll we'll talk about the alankara later at the end mm-hmm. so chutasya pravalam chuta pravalam chuta pravalam eva oshtham chuta pravala oshtham alanchakara alankritavati so she decorates her uh, lips which are uh, in the form of young mango leaf with the ragam with the rasam laksha rasam or the paint uh, which is as uh, 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 me- uh, light red like the young sun ಮುಖೇ ತಿಲಕ ಯೋಗ್ಯತಾಂ ದರ್ಶಯತಿ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಹಿ ಟೇಕ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಎಸ್ ಅನ್ ಅಡ್ಜೆಕ್ಟಿವ್ ಟು ಮುಖಂ ಅಂಡ್ ಸೇಸ್ ಲಗ್ನೈ ಲಗ್ನೈ ಸಕ್ತೈ ದ್ವಿರೇಪೈ ಭ್ರಮರೈ ಅಂಜನೈ ಅಂಜನ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ಆಲ್ ದ ಬ್ಲಾಕ್ ಪಿಗ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ದಟ್ ಯು ಯೂಸ್ ಟು ಮೇಕ್ ಎ ಡಿಸೈನ್ ಭಕ್ತಿಯ ಭಕ್ತಿಯ ಭಾಗೇನ ವಿನ್ಯಾಸೇನ ಚ because of the uh, um, making it as a symmetrical design uh, uh, chitre it is very beautiful also uh, maybe he uh, patra bhangena can mean 
because of the leaves that come out and the flowers that are also there, you have a symmetrical uh, um, a display of both the leaves and the flower in the form of a tilakam uh, and uh, both sides you have uh, either on the, uh, uh, the, the eyes have the black pigment and the tilakam is also present. So there is a symmetry associated with the leaves also. So patra bhangaha here means patranam vinyasaha. Yetra arambhe eva patranam vinyasaha tatra bhangya vartate. There is a beauty to that. There is a symmetry to the leaves that have come out in the beginning of the spring season. So patra bhangena ityapi. Uh, there is another meaning there. Chitre. Chitre is archarya bhute. It is so beautiful to look at. It's very amazing to see how there is a symmetry to the leaves that have come out. Uh, also. So, Atra Pravala Dinam Oshthatva Di Rupanani Shabdaireva Uktani. Now he goes to the Alankara discussion here. Madhushriyaha Prasadhana Pravritta Naikatva Rupanam Punaha Artha Samyatu Pratiyate Iti Ekadesha Vivarti Rupakam Idam. There is Rupakam here in each and every section. So, if you look at the shloka, Dvirepa Anjana. Dvirepaha eva Anjanani. So that is that becomes a Rupakam there. And then you have Balaruna uh, uh, Komalena Chuta Pravada Oshtam. Balaruna Komalena Ragena. All of these are uh, 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 Rupakam actually. So from this you understand that Madhushri he can mean an Aika. So it is not, if, if it was supposed to be Samasokti, then these should have double meaning to indicate both pravalam and oshtam. Because the pravalam and the oshtam have been mentioned here with the shabda. So pravalan dinam oshtatvadi rupanani shabdaireva uktani. They have the pravalaha eva oshtam iti. So then it becomes a rupakam there. And madhushriyaha. Prasadhana Pravrtana Ayika. Prasadhana Pravrtana, one who has started to do her makeup. Because she is going to meet her lover. So she starts her makeup by doing tilakam. And then her face and paints her lips and all that. Wears uh, uh, kajal. All, all of these things is understood by Arthasamyam. It is in Samasokti, Visheshananam, there should be double meaning for the Visheshanas. If you have uh, adjectives for Madhushri and the adjectives have double meaning, then it is Samasukti. Whereas here, it is only Rupakam. So, Madhushri. So in, ah. so in Samasukti, Prastutena Prastutasya Varnanam, Kila? No. Then how do you define Prastutena? Prastutena Aprastutasya Spurtihi ah, so, ah. Samasukti. Ah. Naika Nayaka Bhavaha Yadi uh, Spurati Tarhi. Tatra samasukti bhavati. So prasutin aprastutasya nama here prasutam kim pravalam etat servam aprasutam to naikaiti. No, naikayaha oshtam to prastutena tatra uktameva. Aprastutena nagnayate, tatra natu dvanyate. It is or vyangena nagnayate or spurtiana bhavati. Atra to shabdaireva uktatwata tatra naika pratiti hitu kevalam arthasamartha deva vartate natu. Spurtya. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that is the argument, okay. Mm. So Mukha Tilaka Raga Shabdanam Vadana Vishesha Visheshaka Laksha Vachitvena Linga Visheshena Cha Prasadhana Pravrta Naika Pratito Samasoptihi Iti Uktam Arunachala Nathaha. I don't know how he says that he says, you know, Tameva cha rupakam upaskaroti iti uktavan tat katham iti nagnyayate. I don't know how he is able to say this. He is probably his guru or what, I don't know. But mm -hmm. uh, yeah, Purva uh, the, the Prakashika is the first uh, Vyakhyana that came out and then it was Narayana Pandita. So there is a, a, a century gap there between the two Vyakhyanas. So it is only an ekadesha vivarti rupa kenaiva vasanta lakshmiyaha naikatva pratita usiddhayam samasoktiyaha nirartha kattvat. There is no use for samasokti here because everything is explicitly said. Whereas samasokti, uh, half of it should be more of an intuitive uh, thing. Mm -hmm. 
So here by saying Oshta Pravalam, no Pravala Osht, Praval Oshtam, right? In the Samasa. Yeah. Pravala mm -hmm. Meva Oshtam. It is, in the Samasa, it's built that way. Yes. So, uh, so it's so it's actually the Rupakam is Rupakam is inbuilt into the Samasa. Rupa Correct. Samasa. Yes. Mm -hmm. So it is a Rupaka Alankara. You don't need to explain it as Samasukti. That's mm -hmm. what it is. Just that, you know, even among Alankaras, you have certain levels of those Alankaras. Like mm -hmm. Rupaka, Upama and all are more on a basic level. Whereas if you have Samasukti or Aprastuta Prashamsa, because there is a little bit of the Vyangya involved, suggestion involved, it is a little higher standard. It is a better Alankara than Rupakam or Upama. So everyone mm. will try to uh, explain it as much better. You don't need to explain Kalidasa as the best. Uh, uh, all of his shlokas are the best and you don't need to explain. Mm. There can be. He has also used some basic Kalankaras also. Right? So even Madhu Eva Shrihi, that also Rupakam. No, Madhunaha Shrihi Eva. Ma Madhoho Shrihi. There is no huh. Rupakam. Madhuhu Eva Shrihi Tyukte. Then huh. you'll have to... Uh, uh, Lakshmi Heen is Shri Nama So it becomes a full Alankara. Shrihi iti Lakshmi Reva Bhavati Natu Tatra Lalana iti Pratiti Hinasti. Oh, Astu Saritarikatam both Madhu Madhoho Shrihi Eva Vasantasi Shrihi. Oh, it's the beauty of, of oh, oh. Um, oh, beauty oh, of oh. Uh, spring season. Oh. Mm. So the beauty of spring is personified as a, as the Naika. Yeah, you understand that, Amma. The beauty is the the ena mundina shlokatlaande. You have uh, vasantaha as pullingam, so he doesn't take directly vasanta as the strilinga padam. So he takes the beauty of vasanta as uh, uh, a feminine gender. Mm -hmm. So, Lagnat Dure Panjana Bhakti Chitre Mukhe Madhushrihi Tilakam Prakashya Ragena Bala Runako Malena Chuta Pravadoshtam Alanchakara. I think this verse is very difficult for an ordinary man to understand this. The changes of colors of Kanjala and all these things is a problem here. I know. You just need to think of three things. One is Bindi, Tilakam. The next is the eye, Kajal. And then the lips, paint. That's it, you know. How that is represented in nature. This cannot be on a test for men, definitely. I will, I will have a problem figuring it out. I know. <laughs> Next one is Mrigaf Priyala Druma Manjarinam Rajakanaihi Vignita Drishtipataha Madodhataha Pratyanilam Vicheruhu Vanasthalihi Marmara Patra Mokshaha. After describing all the uh, stavaram. Uh, the trees and the flowers and everything that doesn't move. Now he goes on to animals. What is the effect that uh, uh, Vasantaratu creates? Because he has come in suddenly. Uh, the animals are also, uh, they get affected by this sudden change in the weather. Mrigaha, deers, Rajakkanaihi, Priyala Druma Manjarinam Rajakkanaihi Vignita Drishtipataha. Mrigaha, the deer, their eyesight is vignita. They are completely blinded by the pollen grains, rajah kanaihi, which comes from the priyala druma manjarinam, from the manjari, the flower bunches in the uh, priyala tree. Priyala is another kind of uh, tree here, flower. So priyala druma manjarinam, rajah kanaihi, vignita drishtipataha, mrigaha. The deers, deer, uh, their eyesight is, their eyes are blinded by the pollen dust that comes from the blossoms of these trees. Madodhataha. Now, even if their eyes are blinded, it's like how men are blinded by the passion. These the, the deer are also, their eyes are completely blind here, but by the rajakkanam, by the pollen grains. Madodhataha. Even though their eyes are blinded, still they... They are uh, 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 running high on passion here. So, Mada Uddhataha. They're very intoxicated with Madam. 
and pratyanilam uh, vicheruhu they are going against the wind they are if you if you are at least in the anukula part of the wind if you are not if you are going along with the wind then those pollen grains won't come and hit your eyes but uh, and the yalaratombu young blood right so when when these young animals they they don't understand that they cannot go against nature but they will try to go against nature so pratyanilam they run vicheruhu they run uh, uh, against the wind vanasthalihi vicheruhu they run in the forest grounds uh, where there are a lot of leaves that have fallen down because suddenly spring has come now the leaves have to fall down quickly so all of the leaves have fallen down and new leaves have come out so this vanasthali the grounds of the forest is filled with the marmara patra mokshaha marmara is uh, shushka patra that which makes the sound of marmara when you walk on the uh, fully dried leaves there is a sort of a sound that comes out and that sound is marmara so the murmur of uh, patra leaves uh, which have fallen down mokshaha which have fallen down uh, on the grounds and uh, the, when these uh, deer just run vicheruhu they run here and there against the wind because they are uh, wild with passion here so intoxicated with passion even though their eyes are blinded by this so the, the uh, suggestion that or the statement that you made like just like the uh, men are blinded okay. in, in that in is that, more of a dhvani dhvani right there is more uh, of that that's dhvani right yes that mm -hmm. is dhvani that's mm -hmm. not anywhere here for you mm -hmm. to understand mm -hmm. yeah now you see the difference between the earlier shloka and here so there it is completely rupakam where everything is expressed here nothing is expressed as such there is a swabhavakti here but what we can conclude from that is uh, usually when people are assaulted by that you know that power of love you just don't understand what's going on you're blinded by it and uh, yeah and also when you say uh, rajah uh, rajah kanehi rajoguna aga can also mean hmm. can ragah iti na rajogunasya tatra adhikyam vartate iti karana ah, okay. uh, hmm. then raga comes in hmm. इत्थं वसंत आगमन वेलायां स्थावराणां विकारं प्रतिपाद्य आफ्टर शोइंग द चेंजेस दैट अकर इन स्थावरा द इन इनसेंशिएंट अदन अचेतनत्व सो दैट व्हिच डजंट मूव जंगमानां विकारं अपि आह मृगाः इत्यादिभिः त्रिभिः श्लोकैः देयर आर थ्री श्लोकस ही टॉक्स अबाउट द एनिमल्स दैट मूव अराउंड एनिमल्स एंड बर्ड्स आल्सो सो मृगा मदोद्धता प्रत्यनल वनस्थली विचेरु मृगा एणाद हरिण हरिणाद मदोद्धता मदेन उद्धता अति गर्विता वेरी प्रउड बिकॉज ऑफ दट इंटॉक्सिकेटेड फीलिंग दट दे हेव ड्यूरिंग द स्प्रिंग सीजन प्रत्यनल अनल वायु अनल अभिमुखी प्रत्यनल this is an avyayi bhava samasa so pratyanilam against the wind to facing the wind anilam abhimukhi kritya facing the wind vanasthalihi vana bhumihi vicheruhu vividham cheruhu they roamed around the forests in different patterns so they keep moving around uh, as they please सो अत्यंतमयोगे द्वितीय अत्यंतमयोगे त्र वनस्थली विचेरु देड टू दे रैन अक्रॉस द लेंथ एंड ब्रेथ ऑफ द फॉरेस्ट ग्राउंड सो अत्यंत संयोग विच मीन दे वर् कॉन्स्टेंटली रोमिंग अरउंड सी वेन यू हेव दट फीलिंग यू आर अनेबल टू कंट्रोल युअर मूवमेंट आलो एंड युअर मृगम द डिर् आर् कॉन्स्टेंटली मूविंग इन डिफरेंट पैटर्न अरउंड दि एंटर फॉरेस्ट इयर अभिमुख प्रसरणे हेतु 
why would the when when the pollen grains come and blind the deer why would they go against the wind and get more of it it's because they don't understand they're not thinking properly madena uddhataha iti karanat madoddatatvat anila abhimukha prasaranam they are they are going against the wind they can't they don't have that discriminating power here at that point so madoddhatanam mriganam swabhavah cha ayam this is a nature of the ಅತಿ ಗರ್ವಿತ ಮೃಗ ಅನಿಲ ಅಭಿಮುಖ ಗಮನಸ್ಯ ಫಲಂ ಸೊ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ರೀ ವಾಟ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ರಿಸಲ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಅಗೇನ್ಸ್ಟ್ ದ ವಿಂಡ್ ದೇರ್ ಐಸ್ ಆರ್ ಅಬ್ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಟೆಡ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಬ್ಲೈಂಡ್ ಪ್ರಿಯಾಳದ್ರುಮ ಮಂಜರೀಣ ರಜಃಕಣೈ ವಿಘ್ನಿತ ದೃಷ್ಟಿಪಾತ ಪ್ರಿಯಾಳ ಸಂಜ್ಞ ದ್ರುಮ ಪ್ರಿಯಾಳದ್ರುಮ ಐ ಥಿಂಕ್ ರಾಜಾದನ ಇಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಅನ್ ಅದರ್ ಪರ್ಯಾಯವಾಚಿ ಶಬ್ದ ಫಾರ್ ಪ್ರಿಯಾಳ ಪ್ರಿಯಾಳು ಇಲ್ಲ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಪ್ರಿಯಾಲ ವಾ ಹಾ ಓಕೆ ಪ್ರಿಯಾಲ ರಸಾಲ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ಆಲ್ ವೆರಿ ಸಿಮಿಲರ್ ಪ್ರಾಬಬ್ಲಿ ಸಮ್ ಎವರ್ ಗ್ರೀನ್ ಟ್ರೀಸ್ ಐ ಡೋಂಟ್ ನೋ ತೇಷಾಂ ಮಂಜರ್ಯ ಪ್ರಿಯಾಲ ಧ್ರುಮ ಮಂಜರ್ಯ ತಾಂ ರಜಕಣೈ ರಜಸಾಂ ರೇಣೂನಾಂ ಕಣೈ ಲೇಷೈ ಬಿಟ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಪೌಡರ್ ದ ಪೋಲನ್ ಗ್ರೇನ್ಸ್ ಪೌಡರ್ ದಟ್ ಕಮ್ಸ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದ ಫ್ಲವರ್ಸ್ ವಿಘ್ನಿತ ಸಂಜಾತ ವಿಘ್ನ ದೃಷ್ಟಿಪಾತ ನೇತ್ರ ಪ್ರಚಾರ ದೇರ್ ಐಸೈಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಅಬ್ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಟೆಡ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಸೊ ರಜಕಣ ಪ್ರತಿಹತ ಅವಲೋಕನ ಸಾಮರ್ಥ್ಯ ತಾಂ ಅವಲೋಕನ ಸಾಮರ್ಥ್ಯ ಪ್ರತಿಹತ ಕೇನ ಕೈ ರಜಕಣೈ ಸೊ ವಿತ್ ದ ಪೌಡರ್ ವಿತ್ ದ ಪೋಲನ್ ಡಸ್ಟ್ ದೇರ್ ಅವಲೋಕನ ಸಾಮರ್ಥ್ಯ their capability to see has been pratihatam it has been obstructed here so madoddhatanam svanashaha eva phalam iti bhavah those who are very prideful because of some intoxication then svanashaha eva they they get destroyed themselves it only leads to self destruction to athrana sangachati ha athrana sangachati asmin khane atra sandarbhe Uh, who knows they can they can probably go and hit themselves into a tree <laughs> you don't know <laughs> the spirit of of uh, vasanta is the no amangala correct said. no amangala yes <laughs> <laughs> another indication here is it is because he knows what is going to happen later smaraha tu tatra kuryam harasya api vinagavane he iti madoddhatena saha he started his work so swanashaha eva asit yeah <laughs> he was intoxicated by his own power and he went to uh, face shiva here that's true that's true that that is the point uh, <laughs> he's trying to make here and he ended up uh, getting destructed the, the getting destroyed there that's true, that's true. okay adha amangalam ite amangala phalam eva bhavati bhavishyati bhavati that's such an artha eva ವನಸ್ಥಲೀನಾಂ ತತ್ಕಾಲ ವಿಶೇಷಣ ಮರ್ಮರ ಪತ್ರ ಮೋಕ್ಷ ಇತಿ ಮರ್ಮರ ಮರ್ಮರ ಧ್ವನಿಯುಕ್ತ ಪತ್ರ ಮೋಕ್ಷ ಮೋಚನ ಸೊ ವಿತ್ ದ ಸೌಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಮರ್ಮರ ಪತ್ರ ಮೋಕ್ಷ ದ ಫಾಲೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಲೀವ್ಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಎ ಸೌಂಡ್ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಅಸೋಸಿಯೇಟೆಡ್ ವಿತ್ ಇಟ್ ಡ್ಯೂರಿಂಗ್ ಫಾಲ್ ಆಟಮ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ದ ಲೀವ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ ಫಾಲ್ ಡೌನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಸೌಂಡ್ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಫಾರ್ ಇಟ್ ಸೊ ಮೃಗಾಂ ಧಾವನೆ ಪಾದ ಅಭಿಘಾತ ವಶಾತ್ ಪ್ರಸಾರ್ಯ ಪರ್ಣ ಮರ್ಮರ ಧ್ವನಿ ಅತ್ರ ವಿವಕ್ಷಿ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ಧ್ವನಿ ಇಸ್ ಆಕ್ಚುಲಿ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ದ ಡಿಯರ್ ಆರ್ ರನ್ನಿಂಗ್ ಆನ್ ದ ಫ್ಲೋರ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ದೀಸ್ ಲೀವ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಫಾಲನ್ ಡೌನ್ ಶುಷ್ಕ ಪತ್ರ ಡ್ರೈ ಲೀವ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ವೆನ್ ದೀಸ್ ಡಿಯರ್ ಆರ್ ರನ್ನಿಂಗ್ ಆನ್ ದಟ್ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಸೌಂಡ್ ದಟ್ ಕಮ್ಸ್ ಔಟ್ ಅಥವಾ ಮರ್ಮರ ಇಟ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಪತ್ರ ಮೋಕ್ಷ ವ್ಯಾಸಾಂ ಇತಿ ವಿಗ್ರಹ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಟೇಕ್ ಇಟ್ ಆಸ್ ಮರ್ಮರ ಇಟ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಫಾಲೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಡೌನ್ ಆಫ್ ಮರ್ಮರ ದ ಫಾಲೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಡೌನ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ದಟ್ ಸೌಂಡ್ ಆರ್ ದ ಬಟ್ ರನ್ನಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಡಿಯರ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಬ್ರಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಔಟ್ ದಟ್ ಸೌಂಡ್ ಎನಿವೇ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಎನ್ ಆನ್ಮಟೋಪೈಕ್ ವರ್ಡ್ ಸೊ ದಟ್ಸ್ ಫೈನ್ ಅತ್ರ ತು ಶುಷ್ಕತೆಯ ವೃಕ್ಷಾತ್ ಪತತಾಂ ಪರ್ಣಾಂ ಧ್ವನಿ ವಿವಕ್ಷಿ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಡ್ರೈ ವೆನ್ ದ ಲೀವ್ಸ್ ಫ
sound like this it's, uh, otherwise you don't get the sound from fresh leaves that fall down so vasantehi puranaani parnaani patanti abhinavaani cha utpadyante the reason why the entire forest ground is filled with the bees during spring season even though the autumn is before the winter and uh, 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 during the spring season it would have all been covered by frost and uh, it would have become part of the ground but it would not have the, the um, uh, deer would not be running on these dry leaves but because the spring has come at an uh, um, very different time at a time when it should not come suddenly the leaves decide that they have to become dry and they fall down and so the forest is filled with dried leaves there is no opportunity for winter to come in and you know make it into uh, compost or anything of that sort so the leaf the grounds are also filled with dried leaves and the trees are also showing uh, fresh leaves it's a nice combo there no more than i must have missed it so the vasanta is coming in the wrong time here yeah vasantasya to akale eva tatra agamanam so that's why uh, uh, it is coming at the wrong time when it is not supposed to be coming because manmatha wanted the forest to be in spring time so that it is an uddipana vibhava for mm. shiva and parvati to meet i see so, uh, so, it, so, it, was, so it was actually some in uh, maybe it's winter or something and suddenly he is brought in the the spring the spring there mm-hmm. and that's why it is essential to describe the behavior of all of these in an extreme manner they don't understand what is going on they would slowly probably awaken to the spring after the winter and they will get adjusted to it and maybe it won't show so much of excitement and uh, intoxication whereas because it has suddenly come upon them they don't know how to behave <laughs> so it's a forceful imposition of spring just yes. like uh, they are trying to force the union of shiva and parvati yes exactly mm-hmm. that's what it was murga priyala druma manjarinam rajah kanaihi vighnita drishtipataha madodhataha pratyanilam vicheruhu vanasthalihi marmara patra mokshah next is uh, birds uh, especially the kuku chutankura swada kashaya kantha pumsko kilo yen madhuram chukuja manasvini nam uh, manasvini mana vighata daksham tadeva jatam vachanam smarasya chutankura swada pumsko kilaha the kuku is uh, cooing very sweetly madhuram chukuja kujati so it uh, coos or it makes a sound very uh, soft very uh, uh, sweet sound so the male kuku pumsko kilaha it is only the male kuku which has a beautiful sound uh, so madhuram chukuja it uh, 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 sings very sweetly because it's kanthaha its um, throat is kashayam it is nanna abbe padapadithirthongro you know you have had some uh medicine or something like that and it is uh, become very really sweet and uh, um very uh, ena solrathu mm, the the voice has become really ganam and very nice to hear la very seasoned ah <laughs> seasoned ama and the mari padapattirukku seasoned so chutankura aswadane na because it has uh, 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 eaten the chuta ankuram the small sprouts that come from the mango tree usually when you have mango which is very unripe uh, it actually konde kattu you get a sore throat because of that you don't have a nice kantham here but for the kokilam it changes the swara for the kuku it changes the swaram into very beautiful voice so chutankura aswada kashaya kanthaha the kuku whose throat has become very beautiful uh, or kashayam it has become seasoned i like that word by eating feasting on this uh, mango sprouts so chuta ankura aswadanena kashayita kantha pumsko kilaha madhuram chukuja no he uh, he was uh, singing very sweetly now that singing seems like manmatha is saying some words so smarasya vachanam jatam tadeva tadeva madhura kujanam eva kokilanam madhura kujanam eva smarasya vachanam jatam 
it became the words that mannatha was talking to the women there so what is he saying manasvini mana vighata daksham vachanam jatam it became words or uh, it became a uh, uh, um, like an order or not order rick or uh, an advice to the ladies who are all very high minded manasvini manam manam here means kopam so their anger Uh, towards their beloved tasya uh, vighata to break that down so they are, the, the ladies are very uh, angry towards their beloved and uh, so manmatha says see the spring season is a very short season make the most of it it's also a very beautiful season why are you unnecessarily having this fake anger towards your uh, beloved let go of that anger and uh, try to enjoy the time that you have with you so the words the kokila ganam atr smarasya vachanam eva aasit kidrisham vachanam iti chet the the words that are daksha that are expert in breaking down the anger of uh, women manasvini manasvini mana vighata daksham vachanam jatam what those words are are actually said in raghuvamsha uh, kale has it in his notes um It's a very nice uh, shloka that he has there in Raghuvam Shah. It is in the ninth sarga. Tyajata manam alam tyajata manam. Ah, one minute. Let me share this. Huh? Could you increase some time? Tyajata manam. अलंबत विग्रह न पुनरेति गतम चतुरम वय परभृता निवेदिते स्मरमते रमते स्म वधू जन परभृता निवेदिते दिस इज व्हाट वी नीड इट सीम्स एस इफ द कुकूज हैव स्पोकन द माइंड ऑफ मन्मथा Uh, and it is seems as if it is talking to the women vadhu janaha uh, uh, it's talking to the women and telling them tyajata manam the, give up your anger alam bata vigrahaihi enough of these small quarrels that you have this love quarrel that you have between the two na punaha chaturam vayaha gatam chaturam vayaha na punaha eti this beautiful clever age that has gone will never come back you will you will only be filled with regrets then so do not unnecessarily waste this lovely time by having anger and fighting uh, uh, with your beloved so give up that anger and uh, uh, enjoy the time the the words that vachanam smarasya vachanam has been given in raghuvamsha so it's a nice uh, parallel that he draws ोकिलोकिलोकिलोकिलोकिलोकिलोकिलोकिलोकिलोकिलोकिलोकिलोकिलोकिलोकिलोकिलोकिलोकिलोकिलोकिलोकिलोकिलोकिलोकिलोकि
Daksham Vidagdham Vachanam. His words, Mara's, Manmatha's words are very uh, powerful or an expert in removing that anger that is there for the ladies. Vasanta Agamana Velayam Yatu Kokila Kujanam Jatam Tadeva Pratyupasthitam Tritiya Purushartham Ma Parityaja Pratyupasthitam Tritiya Purushartham Tritiya Purushartham is Dharma Artha Kama. The Kama who has arrived here, do not let him go. So this is a right opportunity to experience that love. Do not let go of that love, which is given you that opportunity here. So alam abhimana vilambane na. Enough of uh, uh, delaying time because of your abhimana, because of your self-respect. Iti madana vachanam asit. So these are probably the words of Manmatha. He's actually lifted it from Raghuvamsha. So anena. Kokila ala pasya uddipanatvam pratipaditam. So now it seems like as if the cuckoo's words or the um, imagined words of the cuckoo become an uddipana vibhava. It becomes a kindling effect for the people there. So nirarthakasya api kokila ala pasya kami jana bandhu bhutasya vidagdhatarasya smarasya Priyatama abhimana vighata dakshavachanatvena rupanatu rupakam. Nirarthakam. Kokila alapastu nirarthakaha. There is no meaning for the singing of cuckoos. But then what does the poet do here? He superimposes the words of manmatha onto this cuckoo's uh, cooing. And so there is a rupakalankara there. The, he gives a lot of uh, adjectives for Manmatha here. Kami jana bandhu bhutaha. Manmatha is like a relative to the lovers. And vidagdha tarasya, he is also an expert. Priyatama abhimana vighata daksha vachanatvena. The words are capable of uh, vighata, destroying the anger that they have. Not anger, more like the fake uh, uh, sense of pride that these uh, women have, right? That sense of honor. Actually, wow. in... Uh, Vidagda means expert, huh? Ama. <laughs> nah, really, he becomes Vidagda later on. Dagdham. Visheshena Dagdha Tatra. Yeah. There's another Amarakosha reference that he gives for Manam. Manaha iti strinam irshya kritaha kopaha manaha anya asangini priye. When the beloved is uh, uh, engaged with another woman, then the anger in women, which is a jealousy based anger, irshya kritaha kopaha, that is specifically called manaha. It's not any anger, it's more to do with irshya, jealousy. Yeah, it can be even if he talks highly of another woman, that would also give a jealousy to the woman and that is mana. Atra swara madhuryam uddipanatve hetuhu. So the uh, sweetness of that uh, the cuckoo is an uddipanam here. So what is the reason for that sweetness? Chuta ankura aswada kashaya kantha. Chuta nam ankurasya abhinava udbhinnasya newly come out uh, leaves or pushpasya. Ankuram he takes it as pushpam, flower. Uh, the, uh, the flowers of mango. Pushpasya aswadanena adanena uh, by eating it kashayaha raktaha kantaha. Kashayaha is more like raktam. The kokilas, the throat of a cuckoo is red in color. Its eyes are also very red and its throat is also very reddish in color. Uh, so its color is also red and the kantham, the uh, sound of it is also, it is suswara kantaha. Raktatvam nama suswarata. It has a very uh, uh, sweet sounding uh, voice because of eating the um, flower of Mango. Chutankura aswadanasya galantara udbhuta dosha nirasakattam uktam. Maybe the flower has a different effect than the mango. Kacha mango, when you eat uh, unripe mango, it actually gives you a sore throat. Maybe the flower of the mango, uh, 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 the thonda pirinjinde nanna soram ardham balya, and the madri ardhonam, terile. Maybe it gives a nice uh, uh, sound. <laughs> Okay. Chutankuraswa the Kashaya Kantaha. 
ಪುಂಸ್ಕೋ ಕಿಲೋ ಎನ್ ಮಧುರಂ ಚುಕೂಜ ಮನಸ್ವಿನಿ ಮಾನವಿಘಾತ ಲಕ್ಷಂ ತದೇವ ಜಾತಂ ವಚನ ಸ್ಮರಸ್ಯ so he kind of gives a reason for the madhuratvam of the kokila by saying chutankura swad kashaya kanta hai yes. so like a like hetu or a uh, kavyalingam or something correct Some, maybe no, because uh, not he, uh, you can say yeah. just as a hetu alankara uh, uh, that is enough hmm. uh, it's like uh, you know probably it wouldn't have had that lovely voice if it was still winter only mm. when the spring has suddenly come in and it sees the flowers and it is eaten those flowers and now its throat has become really mm. nanna padapatte it's also had a well rested winter and then now it's singing probably who knows mm. Uh, yeah. mm. Mm. manaswini mm. also has uh, manini is also kind of similar right the same yes same same, mean. same uh, concept also like Correct. having the high abhimana mm. uh, um, manini whereas chandi is opposite its chandi is more like an uh, idu uh, fierce anger yes that is like real kopam yeah, yeah. Mm. okay 